So, uh, I'm trying to tell y'all about my thoughts on day 12. Somebody else wants my attention. Um, but, <laughs> uh, day 12, I think there were a lot of things that stood out to me. Um, but the one thing I wanted to share, um, was how she talks about Christ becoming like us to help us. And especially when she kind of in this um, beginning part is talking about our rejection of vulnerability. That really made me stop um, and think. And this is what I wrote kind of over here in this margin. But it just really made me think about the fact that the only way that Jesus could help us was to be vulnerable himself. To be vulnerable himself. And it just made me think about how in order to help other people, um, other people that I want to help, other people that maybe I am frustrated by, but that I need to help, the only way I can do that is to actually be vulnerable um, and to not put up a wall or pride or anything else. Um, talk, she talks here about Jesus's uh, humanity, you know, God coming as human um, and having to really humble himself in order to help us. Um, and sometimes we have to humble ourselves in order to help other people. And this other part over here that really stood out to me was just where she was talking about um, the projection of needlessness, how we pretend that we don't need anyone. Um, I think that is part of our culture also. Um, it's that fine balance between being self-reliant and strong, but also being vulnerable and knowing that we can't do anything without God um, and that everything that we do do is accomplished because God's allowed us to. Um, so this area here really just stood out to me where she talks about um, Jesus in the wilderness being tempted yet victorious, that he suffered, but he endured. He was misunderstood, but didn't shrink. He was reviled, but didn't return it. That's a big one. He was reviled, but he didn't return it. He was uh, meek, humble, calm. Um, not always. We know Jesus got angry sometimes, but I'm just saying in general, on that day that he was crucified, he could have returned the hatred he was receiving, but he didn't for our benefit. Um, he was betrayed, tired, righteously angry, yet a right to be angry. He was unfairly treated, abandoned, abused, a man of sorrow in Gethsemane, right? But he was still full of joy. Y'all know yet, that's my one of my favorite words, yet. He was still full of joy. This misunderstood but not shrinking, um, I wrote a bunch over here, just my own personal reflection, but that one also really stood out to me, just knowing that that sometimes when I am not Christ-like is when I feel like I am misunderstood and I shrink back instead of having confidence and knowing who I am in him, knowing that what I'm saying is truth. Sometimes I kind of, um, as one of my friends says, dim my light um, because I feel like I need to shrink back. But Jesus is an amazing example of that, that he was very misunderstood in the synagogue. He was misunderstood by so many. That's why he was crucified. Um but he didn't shrink back. He still knew who he was and what his mission was. And I hope to be more like that as I continue to grow in Christ. So I'd love to hear what you thought about day 12, what stood out to you.